In this presentation, I will explain how Six Sigma strategy is implemented. Let's assume we manufacture using equipment that are calibrated to produce a product with a length of 100 millimeters. Of course, not all of the output is produced exactly at 100 millimeters, but the average length is 100 millimeters. The deviation of this equipment is high, and a lot of times users complain that the variation is too much and the products are not usable. We want to apply Six Sigma strategy in a way that lower specification limit is 97 millimeters, higher specification limit is 103 millimeters. We want the chance of a product being produced out of this range to be less than 0 0.00000002, which means that the chance of a product out of this specification to be less than 2 out of a billion. We will design the process with lower specification limit at 97 millimeters, and higher specification limit at 103 millimeters, such that the chance of a product being produced out of this range will be 0 0.00000000197, which is less than 2 out of a billion. The chance of things farther than 6 standard deviations far from the mean happening is less than 2 out of a billion. So these red areas, which are farther than 6 standard deviations far from the mean, have a very minimal chance of happening, very close to zero. If we want the chance of an event out of the boundary of 97 millimeters and 103 millimeters to be less than 2 out of a billion, then 103 and 97 must be six standard deviations far from the mean. This means that 103 must be six standard deviations from the mean. That means that if we subtract 103 minus mu divided by sigma, that should be six. The mean, we want the mean to be 100 millimeters. So, 103 minus 100 divided by the standard deviation should be 6. That means the standard deviation should be 0.5 millimeters. The conclusion is that we have to buy new equipment with such reliability that the products do not vary more than a standard deviation of 0.5 millimeters. Now the question is that where should we set our control limits to be sure that we will never get close to those boundaries we have to set upper control limits and lower control limits such that our quality control will be alerted and corrective action happens way before our process gets close to specification boundaries. Experience shows that processes vary by as much as 1.5 standard deviations. Therefore, we will set our upper control limit at 1.5 standard deviations less than higher specification limit. And we will set lower control limit at 1.5 standard deviations above lower specification limit since we decided to set our higher specification limit at 6 sigma, then the upper control limit should be set at 4.5 standard deviations. Since we decided that the lower specification limit should be at negative 6 sigma, then the lower control limit should be at 4.5 standard deviations less than the mean. As you can see in this diagram, the chance of those things that are farther than 
4.5 standard deviations far from the mean is about 7 out of a million. But the chance of those things that are farther than 6 standard deviations far from the mean is about 2 out of a billion. So when things that are 4.5 standard deviations far from the mean are happening, we have still a great chance that those things that are really out of a specification have little chance of happening. We can set the control limits around 4.5 we will consider a process out of control and we'll do corrective action when we find a number of products are produced beyond uh, 4.5 standard deviations far from the mean which means something out of range means products that are shorter than 97.75 millimeters or longer than one 0.2.25 millimeters. When something like these or farther than these happen, then we will alarm the bell. We will be alerted that something is going wrong. This means that the chance of an event out of the specification boundaries, which is more than six standard deviations far from the mean, is 3,451 times less than the chance of an event out of control limits where the alarms will ring. So around this point we will be notified that this production is going out of control and there's a still good safety margin. Even if the mean of the production in the long run shifts by 1.5 standard deviations to 100.75 millimeters, the chance of products being produced out of the specification limitations, the chance of products being produced longer than 1 or 3 millimeters will be less than 3.4 in million.